Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to show you how to extract an FBX from a Unity project, bring it into Blender, edit it a little bit in Blender, and then bring it back into Unity the correct way. Let's get started. If you're looking for a model to work with because you don't have one, feel free to stop by my shop on Discord, or you can sign up for my Patreon where I give away a full Unity package every month for my $10 patrons. There's also FBX assets, two of them per month, and access to my Nitro channel in my Discord server. This is the brand new model I just made for July. Everything is custom, so if you're interested in working with her and editing this model, go ahead and sign up for my Patreon. Or if you already have a model that you're waiting to edit, this is a great tutorial for you. So you have your Unity package, but you don't know how to get the FBX out. Let me show you how. All you need to do is open your Unity project, find the FBX, right click on it, and either open it in Finder or Explorer, depending on if you're in PC or Mac, and then just copy this file into a new folder that you've created so that you can work on the model. Do the same thing for your FBX and for your entire textures folder within the project. The next step you're going to want to do is download Blender and the Cats plugin that goes with it. So I'm going to link both of these in the description below and go ahead and download and install Blender and leave the Cats zipped because you're going to want to import that as an actual zip file. So once you have everything downloaded, you're going to open up Blender and it looks like this when you first open it up. There's a camera, a light, and a little cube, and I'm just going to hit A on my keyboard, which is going to select everything, and then I'm going to hit X, which will bring up my delete menu, and I'm going to delete everything out of here so I just have my blank screen. And this is the starting point of all of your Blender projects. Now, the first thing I need to do is install my Cats plugin because you can't really do anything for VRChat without Cats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, and I'm going to click on Install. And then I'm going to go to the folder that has my Cats plugin zip, which I have not unpacked. I'm just going to click on that zip file, and I'm going to click on Install Add-on and it's right here ready to activate. So I'm going to click that checkbox, activate that, and then I can exit out of this window. Now to find cats, you just click on this little arrow right here and it'll bring out your tool panel. And if you come down here, this tab is all the plugin. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by importing a model. So I'm going to click on import model. I'm going to go to the folder where I saved my FBX and my textures, and I'm going to click on the FBX I want to import and I'm going to click on import any model. Just so you know, you can also change the view of Blender so you can have thumbnails if you want. I usually use thumbnails because especially when I'm loading in textures, I can see which textures are which. So I prefer thumbnails, but if you prefer list view, it's totally up to you. Once your FBX is imported, you'll see that it looks a little funny. It's grayed out. The materials are not exactly what they should be. So what we're going to have to do is fix model. But before I do that, I'm going to click this little wrench icon and I'll see a bunch of check boxes. I'm only checking these two boxes because I don't want to join my meshes and I already know that this model is fixed from a previous version that I made of her. If you're not sure what to do, just leave the default boxes that were already checked checked. I especially like the fact that you can uncheck join meshes because if I'm working on a bunch of different meshes and I don't want them all joined together prematurely, I will uncheck this when I have to fix a model throughout the process. I'm just going to click OK and I'm going to go ahead and fix my model. And it's going to take all the textures from that textures folder that I copied and pasted and it's going to apply them to the materials. So let's watch it work. So now the model is fixed and this is what she looks like with all of her textures applied. As you'll see over on the right hand side, there is an armature with a drop down next to it and you'll see a couple of meshes here. When you select each mesh, it'll select it in the window and you can also select it from the window and it'll highlight it in your collection. So I see now that all of my different pieces of my body are all connected together and I don't want that. I want them to be individually editable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the cats plugin. I'm going to drop down the model options and right here it shows you separate by and I'm going to separate by materials so that each material is going to be its own mesh. So once I click separate by materials, you'll see that it separates everything into its own mesh. 
Now, I don't want every single thing to be separated. For example, I have my belt buckles and my boots, and I want them to be the same mesh, so I'm just going to click the boots, and I'm going to shift select the belt buckles, and I'll look over here, and I see that the buckle is highlighted in lighter blue, and the boot is highlighted in darker blue, and the lighter blue one is the one that it's going to be named when these are joined together. I'm going to command or control click the boot so that that is the lighter one and you'll see also in the window it's highlighted in lighter orange whereas the buckle is highlighted in darker orange. If I were to command click boot again it would deselect it but I just want it to be the lighter blue so that when I push command or control J it joins them together and it's called boot. And you'll see down here if you look in this bottom panel, when I click on boot, there's this little tab right here where you can look at your materials. Now these are the same kind of materials that you're going to have when you port into Unity. So I'm going to click on my materials tab and you'll see that you have two materials that are joined together within this one boot item. If I were to click on the buckle and take that buckle off, it would automatically apply the boot material to both meshes that are in here and these would become one. So I'm going to just go ahead and command or control Z, take that back. And now I have the boot all as one mesh. It has two materials and I can toggle it off or toggle it on. I have a full body mesh underneath all of my clothing. A lot of models that you'll get from DeviantArt or from VRC mods, they'll have like the legs chopped off. So I recommend if you want to have more flexibility with a model, buy a model or finding a model that has a full mesh underneath so that you can add different clothes, different shoes, things like that. Now I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to join my garter together. I have my metal pieces, my diamond pieces, and the garter belt itself. Make sure my garter is highlighted in light blue. Command J to join, and now I have that piece that I can also toggle on or off. Now this is not necessary for you to join all of these meshes together, but let's say you wanted to have them toggleable in Unity. You'd want to join these pieces together and then have them separate here with having your body mesh and then whatever clothing you want. Now I see that my bodysuit is joined with the pasties, so I'm going to go ahead and select the bodysuit and then separate by materials for that as well. And now I have my bodysuit and my bodysuit crotch that need to go together. And I need to command click my bodysuit so that it's the light blue, command J to join. And now I have my bodysuit and my pasties as separate meshes. Now let's say you have a mesh that you would like to separate into different materials. So we're going to go ahead and go into edit mode, which you can either do by clicking the drop down up here and clicking on edit mode, or you can simply click tab on your keyboard and it'll go into edit mode. Now, once you're in edit mode, there's a few different selection tools that you can use. You can either select by vertex, which will give you the little dots in between. You can select by edge, which will give you the lines in between, or you can select by face, which will give you the actual faces of the vertices. And these are really easy hotkeys. Vertex select is one, the edge select is two, and the face select is three. So we're gonna go ahead and use face select right now, and we're gonna zoom into the eyes because I want my eyes to be separate from my face. I'm gonna go ahead and hover my mouse over this one eye and click L, and that'll select all of the linked items. Everything on this eye is linked together. Make sure you don't select the whites of the eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the other one too. And then I'm going to click P on my keyboard. And this brings up the separate menu. And I'm gonna separate by my selection. So what I've selected, I'm going to separate. So now I have two different meshes. I'm going to click tab to get out of edit mode. And now you can see I can click the eyes and I can click the face and they're separate from each other. The problem is, is that they are the same material for right now. So what we're gonna wanna do is click on the eyes, rename it to eyes, and then we're gonna wanna take off this material. So I'm gonna remove this material slot and I'm gonna make a new material. And this way it's a separate material from the face and I'm gonna name it eyes. Now, as you can see, we still have to add that same texture back onto it. So what I'm gonna do is go down here to the surface drop down and this already at principled bsdf which is a great it's the automatic one you don't need to change that and down here below it says base color and you can either change it to be a solid color if you want but i want a texture on mine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click this little circle right next to the base texture 
and I'm going to select image texture. It opens up this whole new menu down below where I'm going to click open. I'm going to navigate to my textures folder that I saved from earlier. Here's all my textures and I'm going to use the same face texture. Now you can use the same face texture on two different materials and they will still be two separate materials because your texture does not define what your materials are. So I'm just going to use the same image and this way I'll have two different materials but one texture. Make sure that your color down here is at sRGB. Sometimes it likes to change. And there you go, now you have two separate materials. So if you were to join the eyes and the face together, Command J for join. If you're to join these together, you see now that you have two different materials, which is really great because you can even make three different materials. You can make the eyes by the same selection process into two different materials. So let's say you want one eye to be red, one eye to be green. You can easily do that by the same exact process. Just select one of the eyes with L, separate it with P by selection, and then add a new material onto that eye and you'll have three materials here instead of two. You can do this for any part of your body that you want to, any part of your meshes. That that way you can exactly have what shaders you want, what materials you want. You can add new materials, you can join up old materials. Let's say you don't want that eye texture on your face. All you have to do is just simply minus the eye texture and now your face will automatically be applied back to the eyes. You have the same texture on both so it doesn't look any different but now your eyes and your face are the same material once again. So I'm going to control Z. Alright, so now I think we're ready to join everything together and get it ready for Unity. For the sake of this project I'm going to join all of my meshes together which you can do of two ways. You can either click here join meshes all which a lot of people like to do which is totally fine or the way I like to do it is to shift select the top all the way to the bottom and then command click on the body and then command join and that will merge everything together. For me, this works a little bit faster and I feel like I have more control than to join all meshes, but either way works perfectly. Now, a couple things before we move on to exporting, I'm going to make sure that this all is clicked because this is going to translate everything in my whole entire model. Say I got this model of DeviantArt or somewhere where someone made it who is not an English speaker. And so it may have some foreign characters or anything like that. And I want it to be in English. I just click this all button and it will translate everything for me. Then I'm going to go down to eye tracking and in the creation tab everything should already be in here and just click create eye tracking. Once your eye tracking is created simply click on start eye testing and you're going to zoom into your model and to test it you just slide this back and forth. It looks like my up and down is working just perfectly fine. My left and right is working great and I'm going to test my blink that looks awesome and I'm going to click stop eye testing. Cool, so my eye tracking is done. Now I'm going to go down to Visemes and you just need to select AH, OH, and CH. These should already be populated in here but if they're not just select these three and click on create Visemes. Once your Visemes are done you can close that little tab and you are ready to export. So now I'm going to go to file, export, FBX. You can also export it using this thing, but I usually don't use cats to export. I usually just export normally, although that's completely preference. It doesn't make a difference. I'm going to export my FBX and I'm going to navigate to my same folder. Now you can click on the original file and overwrite it, but I'm going to make a new file and export it as a new one just in case. Once you've exported your model, you're going to want to open up a brand new Unity project, and this is where you're going to bring in your model. So you're going to open up the file location where your model is. So I'm just going to drag my textures right into the assets folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag my FBX into that folder as well. So now you should have your FBX and your textures in your project. Go ahead and click on your FBX and you're going to go to the rig tab. Go to humanoid, click apply. Now the rest of this should seem pretty familiar to you if you've watched my getting started in Unity video, but I'm going to go over it real quick anyway. I'm going to configure my model. I'm going to make sure that the chest is what it should be. Sometimes there is no chest and you have to click the chest and add it. Making sure all the rest of these are as they should be. I go into the head and make sure that the jaw is set to none. I go to done, click apply. Once you're done rigging your FBX, go into the little arrow that's right next to her and click on all of these circles. I'm just going to shift click to select all of them. I'm going to right click and click extract from prefab. 
I'm going to create a new folder within my assets folder. This folder is going to be called materials. And I'm going to choose this as my destination for all of my materials. And now all of your materials are in their own folder and you can close this up. Now I'm going to just drag my model up here. And now I can go into my materials. And I see now that I have two materials that have the same texture, one for the eye and one for the face. And I can manipulate these differently from each other. And when I go in to change my materials in this folder, they're going to automatically change on my model. If you want to know how to go on further from here and upload and get everything set up, go ahead and watch my getting started with VRChat video. I will link it below. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like this, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos on VRChat, design, all that different stuff. If you guys have anything that you want to see or want to know how to do, feel free to drop a comment and ask for it. I'm always open to suggestions and I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.